make a real quick video on why you should buy the i7 Plus from iRobot. To me, right now, it's the best robot vacuum you can get. And I'm going to show you some clips now of pretty much all the torture test I've put it through, uh, all the different tests I did to it, and it's still running to this day perfectly with no issues. I've had it almost a year now, and after watching some of these tests, you're going to be like, wow, that thing really does work well. It's made really well, and to me, especially with the software updates, these videos were probably about six to eight months ago for some of them, and the software wasn't quite as good back then. It's even better now, and now it's even a better vacuum than it was, so I'm, I'm super happy with the i7 Plus. Uh, watch these videos and let me know what you think at the end. Going in my basement. Pretty filthy down here. First time I'm cleaning it, I figured, why not let the robots do it? A lot of dust in the corners and stuff. I wanted to see how well it would actually do this. A lot of dead bugs. Heck of a lot of dirt. So I wanted to see how it do in a new floor plan and it overall did a good job, no doubt about it. Got a lot of the dust up. Let's see what else. Left a few. It left some stuff, which is, you know, I expected to leave some. But overall, it, it did quite well. It got under there. It's probably where it got the spider webs all over it. I mean, obviously, you're never going to have a mess this big, I wouldn't think, but it's just kind of a stress test. See which one can do a better job. You can see right away that the uh, shark suction does a much better job with this. Since the Roomba really doesn't even have much suction at all. But we'll see. Let's let them run and, and see how they do. shark should be very full but hopefully this time it'll it'll take itself to the dock so I'm gonna go manually put it on the on the uh, dock again so it can clean itself out and then it'll come out and clean again see how much more the Roomba can hold in its bin I don't recommend this at all, not even a little bit. If you want one with a self-empty and bin, the Roomba is still the absolute king. You don't need the bin, the S5 is still the king in my eyes. Do me a favor, please. Uh, smash that like button, subscribe. It really helps me out. Oh shoot, we got a centipede that just emerged. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got him! Hey, this thing's also very good for uh, bug control. My basement, and I got a whole bunch of sawdust from some holes I, I drilled through the ceiling joist. So as you can see, there's a ton of sawdust. Little pieces of 2x4s. And I even spread around some of this red hair from I bought from a wig. So that's spread all throughout this room. I wanna see if it could detangle itself or if there's gonna be hair left in the roller. Somebody really wanted to see that. So I put quite a bit of this just around the room. I also have these little metal shell casings from uh, the RAM set, which is what you put into the concrete to hold the two by four wall steady. So one thing I'm going to do is see how there's so much concentrated right here. I'm gonna spread this around more because I know for a fact, because of that pasta test I did with the shark and it kept messing up and saying there's something underneath it. 
I guarantee this will do the same thing, so. I'll be very surprised if this thing airs out or it doesn't complete it. Very surprised, especially when it did such a good job with that pasta. So, or not, but it, regardless, it should go around until it can't and then complete the job. Say it's going to empty itself already. That is why you need a sensor, Sharky. Give Roomba iRobot props. The competitor tried to cut up their price in half and failed miserably. Take a look. If you ask me, that did an incredible job. Like I said, I don't care that there's still a little bit here and there that's gonna happen. But look at all that sawdust and hair and shell casings and concrete. I mean, all the broken pieces of concrete are gone. Really, really, really a good job there. I robot. So this is a competitor's self-emptying bin. This is the Persenic M7 Pro, and as you can see, it does not empty itself very good at all. The i7 Plus would have emptied this with maybe 5-10% to 10 of the contents left. So they really don't have a competitor in the self-empty bin market, if you ask me. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Uh, if you have seen my previous videos with the i7 Roomba, you've known that I have put it through some pretty big stress tests, and pretty much the rollers have gotten pretty shredded. So I needed some rollers and I needed some uh, self-empty bags. So I went on Amazon and I bought a 20 piece kit for $29.99. So I thought I'd try out a generic, this is a knockoff. This is not made by iRobot. Uh, this comes from China, well Amazon and then China. And uh, let's find out what you get for 30 bucks and how good of a deal it is. Um, I'll replace the rollers and everything. And we'll see if, if it can uh, do as well as the actual OEM iRobot stuff. Let's do the easy part first. So they send you eight vacuum bags as part of this kit. So if you remember right, iRobot, their actual uh, vacuum bags are three for $15.99. I'm getting eight of them as part of a kit, that's already saving me money on the rest. So if these work just as good as the, uh, the ones you get from. All right, everybody, so this is the end of the video. I wanted to show you some pricing of what you can pick these up for right now. Uh, right now it's $7.99, they're sold out on Amazon. They were on sale for $6.99 a few months back and that's the best deal you can get on these. Now the S9 Plus is also, I believe, out of stock. Uh, but nine sixty five, you know, you're talking about two to three hundred dollars more. I don't think it's quite worth the extra money. Shark IQ now, you're looking at about five hundred dollars, brand new. I I just you know me, I just don't like this vacuum. If it had an actual dirt sensor, that would change everything. So maybe in their next try, and then the Persenic M7 Pro. This is a really good vacuum, but the dirt bin sucks. It's only 100 bucks, but you get what you pay for. I don't like the dirt bin whatsoever.